Quality fabric is essential to designer Salvatore Giordina. He is growing his two-year-old custom men's suit business, and cutting corners is not an option. So as prices for the fabrics he uses, mainly wool and some cotton, rise, he is making adjustments. Depending on the price increase from my supplier, either I'll absorb some of it and I'll pass some of it on uh, along to my customer. Prices of raw materials used to make clothing have spiked sharply. In 2010, for example, cotton prices were up 90 percent. Economists have been surprised both at the speed and the magnitude of the rise. In some ways, it was a perfect storm. Jeffrey Silverman is the chairperson of the Textile Development and Marketing Department at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. The floods in Pakistan, the weather in China, uh, poor crops all over the world, there's, there's a shortage of cotton. And so what that's done is that's dr driven the price up. Increasing demand is also a big factor as China's growing middle class buys more clothing and other textiles. And rising energy costs are also driving prices higher as it gets more expensive to transport goods. So here in the United States, many retailers are moving to raise prices and or trade down to less expensive fabrics. Everybody so far has been kind of pleasantly surprised that there has not been a strong pushback. But then again, we're only about halfway through and they haven't really felt the impact that's coming. Um, so I think it will continue to rise until the consumer says no. Giardina, however, says he has no choice but to stick to what his customers demand. I do look for uh, better priced fabrics. However, the, the challenge is finding fabrics that are high quality because I have a business that makes high quality suits you cannot use a low quality fabric in a high end suit. It just doesn't work. But mainstream retailers are hoping the strategy will work. Analysts say prices at the consumer level could start moving noticeably higher as soon as next month. Bobby Rebell, Reuters.